everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm on this Use It Up July project where I'm going through my stash and trying to use things up. So I found these little stickers that I've had for a while that I picked up when they were on discount, and I thought they were relatively cute, and I have this set of stamps that I want to use. And then I've shown this before, whenever I have scraps of paper, I will use my paper punches or even on my Cricut or Silhouette and I will die cut a bunch of shapes and punch a bunch of shapes and then I've got this little container so as you can see it's got quite a bit inside of it so I'm going to try to use some of that up and then I've had some of my jelly printing papers or painting session papers from experimenting left over. So what I want to do is I want to make a little card that is going to go into a little journal that I'm working on and I think the first thing I need to do is I need to stamp on this piece of paper. So let's get out my stamp positioner or platform and then I'm going to position my piece of paper in the platform. It has magnets. This is the Tim Holtz stamping platform. And then I'm going to grab the palm tree stamp for what I want to do. And to make sure that I have it placed in the right spot, I'm going to place my little label on here. And then I think I want my little stamp right about there. So I'll remove that label. And then I'll just pick it up with the stamp positioner. And it's hard to see because of the glare, but the stamp's over here now. And I'm going to use the Brutus Monroe Detail Ink. It's a black permanent ink. I'm going to ink this up. And what I like about the stamp positioner is I can stamp this as many times as necessary to get a good impression if I didn't put enough ink on my stamp. But the key is to make sure that you press down and let that ink transfer to your surface. If you just kiss it really quick, it won't have a very good image. Well, that's a pretty good image. I think that'll work. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to clean my stamp. I just need a tiny bit of this cleaner. I'm just going to rub it with my finger and then wipe it clean. And I can put that back on the parent sheet. Now, I've decided that I want to put a little phrase on this piece here, so I'm looking at it. I think this will be the side I want to use. And tan lines and good times. That seems like a good phrase, so I'm going to position that and then use the stamp position to pick up the stamp. Put a little magnet on here to hold it in place. I'm going to use the detail ink again. And that's a pretty good impression as well. And I'll clean my stamp again and then put the position away. I've got some glam by Tattered Angels. And what this is is a glaze that has glitter or mica powders in it. So I'm going to shake it up just a little bit. The first color I've got is Sand Castle. And I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. I've got a little paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is get some of this glimmer mist, or excuse me, uh, glam, and I'm making what I would say is a little bit of sand. It's got some glitter in it at the base of this tree. I'll just clean off my brush. I'm using a towel. And then I'm going to get some of the espresso, which is a dark brown. And I'm going to go right down the trunk of the tree and I'll clean my brush off again and this time I'm going to use some of the green that was espresso bean and this is private meadow and I'm just going to dab that on the palm tree fronds and then I'll clean my brush again and then I'm going to use my heat tool to dry this I have a pre-made card from Canvas Court Brands. It's just a small little note card. It came in a grab bag from them. And again, I'm trying to use up all this stuff, so I'm trying to find little projects. And I'm just going ahead and folding that in half. And I've got some Distress Ink Vintage Photo. I'm going to go around the edges of this. I'm also going to go around the little saying, adding a little Distress Ink to that. I've got my 
no clog riding cap on my scrap perfect glue and so I'm just going to make a little bead around the edge because I'm going to go to my sewing machine and add a zigzag stitch. So we're going to position this in the center and then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and I'll be right back. Well I've gone around the outside edge with a zigzag stitch so now what I want to do is I want to adhere the little saying or phrase. So I'm just going to use some of the glue again from Scrap Perfect and put just a little bead around there. It doesn't take a lot with this glue. Position is kind of in the corner. And then the last touch is I'm going to grab one of these little surfboards. Let's do this one. I'm going to place it right here. So there is a little note card that I made. I made another one with a different surfboard so I can put these in my junk journal as little note cards. I want to keep them relatively flat. This is a little bit of a 3D embellishment, but I just thought it's super cute. Well, there is another idea for using up your stash. Get those stamps out, stamp on top of those papers that you've decorated, save those scraps of paper and use die cuts, and then try to find little cute ways to use stickers. It doesn't need a whole lot to make it a neat little project. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, comment below if you have any questions or comments that you would like to make. What do you have in your stash that you need to use up? Look in the description box to links to the products that I use as well as my blog, social media connectors, as well as my Facebook groups. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.